What's up, everybody? This is Matt Hafey from the band Trivium. I'm a full-time musician who tours and makes records, and when I'm not doing that, when I'm at home, I'm streaming from this very room, from this very setup on Twitch. Uh, what I do Monday through Friday is about four to six hours of guitar, vocals, uh, Trivium requests for my subscribers, karaoke's of learning anything from Logic to Linkin Park to Slipknot to Baby Shark to Justin Bieber to Britney Spears. I think we've done about 400 covers now on the channel. And lately I've been writing a piece for a scoring thing I'm doing that I can't disclose what it's for yet. But this is where all the magic happens when I'm not on tour. When I'm on tour, still streaming, streaming all the shows from one of the Gun Run IRL backpacks. Uh, we stream every single show. I stream every single warm up, every single sound check. So it's basically the Truman Show with me. All right. I'm super excited to display today the MKH Signature Groove Gear Fret Wraps. Um, we wanted to go with something minimal. We wanted to go with something sleek and simple. With the, with the fret wraps, I've always felt the design is perfect. So I wanted to just make a little custom thing and just have this. All this kanji means is first character is Ki. This is Ichi. Kichi is my middle name. Ki means indefinable. Ichi means one, indefinable one. So that was a pretty poetic name. Um, the heads behind Groove Gear and myself, we decided to do something. I loved the all black. You know, I loved the white. We were trying to figure out which way to go with about it. And we figured that this simple red, simple red in the kanji made everything happen. What I love so much about this, when it comes down to being a studio musician, a touring musician, you can't have any noise. You can't be worrying about if I pick too hard, is it going to make this thing intonate? Is it going to make this thing resonate? Is it going to make this thing out of tune? I love so much about this, especially with our music. When we do stuff like kind of stop parts. A lot of times when you do the without this, you'll hear a this kind of like ring out thing behind whether the six, seven, or eight strings up top. You'll hear this kind of high pitched thing happen. And that would always drive me crazy in the studio. So what we do, we'd tie tube socks, pantyhose, um, hair bands, anything we can get. Finally, I think it was our, it was actually Corey. Corey Bull, you are a guitar player. He said, hey, Matt, you got to check these things out. So he brought his fret wraps down the studio while we were doing this in the sentence with Josh Wilbur. He said, check this thing out. It's a little better than a sock. So put the thing on. I was hooked. So every single show, every single record I make, everything I do, I've got these on my electrics, acoustics, touring guitars, home guitars, everything, leads, rhythms. What I like about doing the leads, because a lot of times when you're playing leads in the studio, you're really focusing on, you know, just <laughs> really just focusing on the lead itself. If you have it down here, sure, that's that simulates what you'll be doing on tour. But at times, if you're really digging into something, there's a lot of strings in your backs that you don't hear. So you have a perfect take, but you don't have something wrapping up there. You're gonna have to go in and fix it later. So I I prefer Corey does the same thing when we do solos and we're playing up high, just to get the really cleanest signal possible. have this on there and we'll slide it up depending on where the part is. So if you're doing a tapping part or you're doing especially straight bars, things like that. So especially if you're sweeping, I find this is fantastic. It's really innovative in the fact that you're able to slide up and down depending on where you're at. So if you're doing like higher harmonies. Instead of being down here, where you could maybe incidentally hit something that's a bottom E or bottom B that makes it ring out and messes up the take on a on a solo. So I find that it's it's for that micro precision that you really need in the studio. The fret wraps are what you need to do, in my humble opinion. And live, keep it down here. Your solos are gonna be up here, but it's live anyway, so it needs that energy, it needs that ex little bit extra sloppiness that'll happen naturally. <laughs> Thank you. 